How's it going, folks? Thanks for once again tuning into the Impact Lounge. You have myself, Brother Great, and I'll be covering the Impact Wrestling Explosion review for March the 31st. Um, this is the second installment. For those of you who didn't catch last week's initial installment, you can catch it on the channel. It's the March 24th edition. As well as be sure to check out the other videos that are uploaded on the channel. Um, there's a lot of content from myself and Adam as well as the main man, BQ. So um, give them all a listen and please, if you haven't already, subscribe. As well as give likes and um, share your thoughts, leave a comments, things you like, didn't like as it pertains to the review or the show. Um, your guys' feedback is very important and much appreciated speaking of much appreciation i do want to thank all the people who tuned in to last week's initial installment of the explosion review um the feedback was positive so you know this is something maybe you know i can continue to do so you know i just want to thank you guys and just continue to sh share your feedback so for this edition of explosion march 31st edition our feature match was km versus sugar dunkerton okay it's my first time uh hearing of this guy i don't know if he's enhancement talent or i'm sure he probably does some work on the indies but mainly his uh character is one of um i want to say of maybe like disco you know really dancing and whatnot what i found to be funny was uh the commentary sanjay and josh had stated that this guy has gone by so many different names so you know that was kind of odd but anyways um you know this was kind of a weird match because you got km who's an established impact talent facing a, a no-name guy and what i mean by no name is maybe he's unknown to the impact fans so you would think that cam should run through this guy but this was kind of some even Steven booking and I didn't really like that because I thought this was an opportunity to have KM just run right through this guy because that's the thing with KM. He hasn't really had the opportunity to really showcase what he can do in impact thus far. A lot of his angles have been comedy and, you know, he's been on the losing end of some matches. Most recently, he defeated Fala Ba. But yeah, you know, I thought this would have been a great opportunity for him to, you know, really show something. So maybe in the future, but pretty much this match had some comedy spots. Like there was one that stuck out where um, Dunkerton, he had KM for uh, arm drag and then he had him locked up and then he had a uh, KM pop locking, which was kind of funny, but you know, the ending sequence was uh, KM, he hit his full Nelson, which um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but sometimes he lifts the guys up so high for the full Nelson, it looks like he loses control. But he hits that, and then he hits his uh, finisher, which I guess now is the sit-out pump handle slam. I don't know if he's still calling it the ego driver, and that gets the win. Um, the one thing with KM, man, this guy is a really innovative wrestler. I mean, some of the moves he's, he's done – or that I've seen him do since his time in Impact. I mean, it's been impressive. I've never seen somebody his size be so innovative. So that's another reason why I hope they have some plans for him down the road. We just have to wait and see. Next, we're gonna we get the around the ring, and this time is Sammy Callahan, and this really had me uh, interested because Sammy Callahan he's really riding a lot of momentum, you know, stemming from the whole accident we'll say that he had with eddie edwards so you know i really wanted to see how he was outside the ring and you know some interesting points i mean first we get a cameo from ec3 which it seemed out of place but i'm pretty sure this is the final time we'll see him on programming if it's not something as far as they're showing an old match that he's in but they were talking about uh, josh was talking with callahan about some of Callahan's interests and you know he's a video game guy and he's a tech guy and I thought that was pretty cool because that probably plays up to you know when we get the backstage vignettes of OVE and they're doing the whole kind of a tape recording type thing 
um i'm sure he pretty pretty much is behind a lot of that and has a strong influence on that so i thought that was pretty neat and uh you was talking about how how he met jake and dave chris um at heartland wrestling association so i guess their relationship goes back to then but yeah it's it pretty interesting um i kind of recommend you know you guys check this out if you guys get a chance by the way um for those of you who don't know, Explosion can be seen on the GWN app. Um, I want to say it's uploaded over the weekend or so, um, but usually check back on Monday or Tuesday. But yeah, uh, I, I recommend this. It was pretty cool to get to know Sammy Callahan. Next, we get our flashback match, which is uh, TNA No Surrender 2012. It's uh, B Bound for Glory semifinals. Between Samoa Joe and Jeff Hardy. Um, one thing that I want to take from the, uh, the comments from last week's episode of Explosion. And it was a, a popular theme. You know, a lot of people were saying maybe instead of having this, you know, these flashback matches, why not have two matches on the card? And I'm in full agreement of that. I, I don't believe we need these flashback matches since we get them on regular impact programming as well. So it's a little too much. I think you can use that extra slot, you know, to showcase someone else who hasn't gotten enough time, you know, in impact to, you know, really wrestle, you know, you, you use explosion as a way to develop ta up and coming talent. That's just my opinion. And I notice a lot of people share that same opinion. So. But anyways, uh, I will say this was a great match. Um, I don't even remember remember this, to be quite honest. Um, and I found it to be interesting because you had two different styles. And I wanted to see how they were going to mesh with you know, Samoa Joe being more of a hard-hitting you know, bruiser type. And then the high flyer of Jeff Hardy. One sequence that stuck out for me in this match was... Jeff Hardy went for a tornado DDT. Samoa Joe stops him, and then Jeff Hardy hits the twist of fate. And then the ending sequence is you have Joe going for the muscle buster. Hardy reverses it, and then Hardy goes for a submission, which <laughs> I found to be strange because I can't recall Jeff Hardy ever using a submission. Um, I'm sure, if, you know, someone can point one out if you can, drop it in a comment. But, you know, I thought that was weird, but. Jeff Hardy ends up getting the win when he transitions the arm bar into a crucifix pin to beat Samoa Joe. I'll say this. While I think the match was good, I thought the wrong person won. And I think during this time, um, we, we might have been removed from the Hogan-Bischoff era. But I want to say that was the common thing with, you know, around this time, especially with Samoa Joe's tenure in Impact, where... You know, he had the moment in time where, you know, he w he was the guy. He was, you know, in the same ballpark with AJ and others. And then when we got an influx of guys coming over, you know, Joe had to put those guys over. And I felt Joe was the one who needed to benefit from some of these wins. Like, I think Joe defeating Jeff Hardy in this would have done better for Joe than it would Hardy since Jeff Hardy was already established. But... I mean, you know, it was one of the many problems, you know, the old TNA company had. So, yeah, it was, it was a nice match. And then finally, we get um, just a recap of Cage versus Lashley. Me talking about this doesn't do enough justice. I highly recommend you guys, if you didn't catch it on Impact, go and watch this match. I mean, for solely the stuff that Brian Cage did in this match... I mean, for a guy of his size, it's incredible. And it just made me even more happy that Impact got this guy. And while we're, you know, we've had some departures, getting talents such as Brian Cage and Sue Young and others that, you know, I'm drawing a blank right now, that, you know, makes me so optimistic about everything moving forward, let alone what the new regime has been doing. But yeah, this match, um, I can't say enough about it outside of probably the finish. I thought they could have done a better finish, but I highly recommend you guys check this out. I'm not going to even say too much about it. Just give it a look if you haven't seen it. But yeah, and that's pretty much it. That covers the explosion review. Thanks for taking the time to tune in. Um, like I said, you know, get, drop a comment, share your thoughts. Let me know what you thought of the show, the review. 
and as well as be sure to check out the extra content on the channel um we all work hard i know bq adds a lot of content you know adam and myself we try to add in stuff when we can so uh, you guys' feedback is much appreciated so once again thanks for listening and until next time take care